Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about more vegan makeup today. This is vegan, this is Lush Makeup Round 2. Um, so I picked up a lipstick and I did a review on it and I also wanted to do a review on the liquid eyeshadows that I got. Um, I got one because I wanted to try it out and they're kind of pricey so I wanted to like just see what's all about. Yeah, and didn't want to like go ahead and buy like three and there wasn't too many too many colors that I was too crazy about but I really did enjoy this like coppery gold color that they have I thought it was really pretty so I got this liquid eyeshadow in the color happiness and on the bottle it says um, on the label it says this happiness the next thought <laughs> It's a cream eyeshadow. It tells you how to use it, and it says to use as makeup. <laughs> how, like, oh, thank you, Lush. <laughs> um, the ingredients include rose petal infusion, water, glycerin, stearic acid, almond oil, um, jojoba oil, uh, kupu kupu <laughs> kupuaku butter. That's new to me. Uh, triethanolamine. Uh, Triethanolamine, that's new to me too. Cetereal alcohol, synthetic fluoro fluogopite, titanium dioxide, ferric ferrocyanide, and um, methyl para uh, methyl paraben and pri polyparaben. It was made by Joanna on the twelfth of August, twenty fourteen, and it says used by August second, twenty sixteen. So. Okay, this actually can last me a long time. Um, the ma the lipstick that I purchased will only last me about a year. When this will actually last, well, it lasted until the end of this year. But this will end up lasting until August of next year. So that's pretty um, impressive. No, like just given the fact that Lush products usually expire pretty early. So that's actually pretty exciting to me. It comes in these little bottles. At first I thought this was like a squeezy thing, like it's like a droplet, but no, it's just like the type of bottle it has and then they kind of fool you by putting a doe foot applicator at the bottom. Um, so let me do it on my right hand. And this is just a really nice gold coppery color and it has a really nice shine to it, which really impressed me the first time. I have makeup on due to the fact that I did a tutorial earlier, but I wanted to kind of see how I would use it um, and I really think I would use it mostly as kind of since it's really shiny I would want to use it kind of over some eye like over eyeshadow to kind of add a little bit of shine and oomph and I would kind of want to use it under my um, lash line to kind of create that like cool runway look that you see um, I know it's not that cool but I wanted to try it there anyway so let's pop this on the lower lash line real quick I wanted to see if it really um, has its like pigmentation powers. The powers of, oh, I'm messing this up. The powers of pigmentation. It's kind of messy, but also in a way very accurate. And I would probably go this far down with this product like especially in the summertime when I you, you know you want to rock the the crazy like lower lash line look and just kind of sticking with that all natural type deal I'm like just blending it out with my finger and I think I'm gonna give this side one more go to kind of even it out oh I made a mess here Okay, so it is really, really pigmented. Um, this is really pigmented. Let's go into my eye. Let's do this crazy look that I have envisioning right now. I wanted to do this where, like, you kind of take it up. And then you go into, like, you, like, loop it around. I know I'm not explaining it very well, but you take it up. And then you loop it around, <laughs> and then you don't mess up the rest of your makeup, but it's really, really bright, which ain't no thing because you really want your makeup to be pigmented anyways, especially 
if you're a girl with a tan. So yeah, you guys, this is the um, eyeshadow that I just put on my eyes from Lush. And so far, so good. Um, it's really, really bright, and I need to blend this out a little bit. Um, ooh, turns out, blending it out is quite a breeze. Um, I don't want to blend it out too much because I really like how, like, strong it is. Like, this is really strong. Like, you don't, I didn't, I was, like, really surprised at the pigmentation of this puppy because, like, there's, you know, it's an all-natural, organic, vegan eyeshadow. Like, there should be junk in here that's bad for me because it's so, like, bright and it's just reflecting so much light. And I think that's really impressive because... You know, it's an it's all natural. Um, so this is actually really exciting that I really like this. I think I will go ahead and pick up some more colors that I like. Didn't want to, you know, that I was too afraid to buy the first time, because holy moly, this is like super pigmented stuff. Lush eyeshadow. Um, I am going to give you a A plus because this is so far is really pretty. <laughs> you know, um. Maybe they'll come out with like a more like champagne -y color. I don't know if they did. I couldn't find one. But uh, yeah, I really like this product. Give it a go if you want to try some Lush Vegan products. Um, I can't wait to try out some more um, vegan makeup in general. This was on the pricier side around the same price. It's the same price as the lipstick. So it's like $18.50 to $18.95. Um, more expensive in other countries if anything. This is actually going to last me quite a while, um, and I'm actually really pleased with it. So, hope you guys like this review, hope you guys like this first impressions type deal. Uh, vegan makeup is actually not terrible, I can't, ex I can't wait to try out some more. Stay tuned for more reviews from different brands. Let me know if you know any brands that I haven't heard of. Um, let me know of any recommendations that you have for vegan makeup so I can definitely make sure that I pick it up. Like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Follow me on all my other social media networks. Uh, check out some events that I do. I will link the uh, website down below. Me and my sister are wedding planners on the side. And um, we like to do some crazy events around Chicago. So if you're curious about any of that, let um, check it out. You know, don't be afraid to click the button. <laughs> okay? So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!